Hello guys, welcome to the first lecture of my brand new course. The aim of this new course is to teach you how to build a WordPress theme, but not in the usual way. This time, we'll grab a simple HTML5 template and convert it into a fully functional theme. In other words, in this course, I will teach you how to create a minimal viable WordPress theme. That is, in a few lessons, you'll learn the basics of how to create a WordPress theme that really works. What do you think? Do you like the idea? Well, for those of you who still don't know me, my name is Marcelo, I have a degree in System Analysis, but I have been working as a web designer since 2008 and with WordPress since 2012. I must confess I simply love to build themes using it. I'm author of other courses on WordPress themes, both in English and Portuguese. Well, in fact, creating a WordPress theme is a task that often takes some time. I usually take a few weeks to create a more complex theme with a lot of customization. But I'm going to show you how to achieve a great result in a way that a few people can do. In fact, until now, I've seen just a few people teaching what I want to teach you in this course. We'll grab a finished HTML5 template, one that you can find on many free template websites out there, and turn it into a WordPress theme. The idea is very good, uh, because you can also use the same methods to turn any basic HTML site into a WordPress theme. Let's suppose your client has a basic HTML5 site, built uh, with bootstrap or not, and you need to, say, translate it into WordPress. How do you do it? Well, a lot of people get confused. They don't even know where to start. I'll show you from beginning to end how to do this. At the end of this course, you get a fully functional WordPress theme from a simple HTML5 template. And it's gonna be really cool. You'll see, you'll learn a lot from that. As all that will have a tremendous practical utility. Let's start by getting to know our challenge. Let's head over to our browser and meet the HTML5 template that will serve as a basis for our course. First, let me tell you that this template has been downloaded from freecss.com. However, to make it more suitable for the purposes of this course, I have made some modifications. The original template is a common HTML5 template. It's almost a complete one-page template. If you are curious, you can go ahead and download the original template by visiting the link I made available in this lecture, ok? Among the extra materials, you'll also find all template files that we use to create our WordPress theme. It's extremely important that you download these files, ok? Because they are the basis of this course. It's a very simple template, but I'll be using it to bring to you the core concepts of WordPress theme development. As I already told you, this course is not meant to be the ultimate WordPress theme development course. It serves only as an introduction to the subject, and its aim is to teach you how to turn an HTML5 template into a functional WordPress theme. So don't be disappointed if I don't get to teach you something you wanted to learn. It's because it is simply impossible to talk about all possible scenarios, so I had to choose one that was as educational as possible. So let's go. This template is very simple, but it already comes with several great effects that have been implemented by the original developer. For example, when you scroll down the page, uh, you see this animation effect in the menu. We also have this effect when we hover over each portfolio item. This other effect when we click them, a light box, and also some other effects that I myself have implemented. Like this one here, uh, when I click on a menu item, it moves slowly to the corresponding section. And finally, I have this very stylish responsive menu. All of these effects are already incorporated into the original template, especially within the JavaScript files. So we will not need to create them from scratch. That's the idea behind this course. Um, but what many people don't know is how to migrate all this structure here to WordPress. In this course, I will teach you how to keep all of these features within the WordPress theme. 
But um, what will be the great advantage of having all this within WordPress? The advantage is that you can make the site much more dynamic. For example, you'll be able to add new portfolio items without needing to edit the HTML code or change this content here to without touching the HTML. If you're doing this for your client, they will love it. Well, if you think that's a great idea and you also want to learn more about the subject, I invite you to watch the rest of the course on Skillshare. The whole course will remain 100% free on Skillshare, but for a very limited period of time. All you need to do is create your account on Skillshare, which is also free, and enjoy the course. The link for the course is on the video description just below. And if you're still watching this video, chances are that the course is still free. So don't lose this opportunity. If you like the platform Skillshare, you can also sign up for a monthly premium membership. The two first months are free and it gives you access to hundreds of other interesting Skillshare courses just like this one here. I'll be waiting for you to get on board with me in the rest of the course. So join me then and let's discover this new WordPress world together.